If your Jacob's Ladder is experiencing a display that reads hold in the upper left hand corner while you are working out, the most likely cause of the problem is four set screws in the lower jack shaft that have come loose. This has caused the lower jack shaft to shift to the point where the speed sensor cannot pick up movement on the sensor tape located on the lower jack shaft. In order to rectify this problem, you will first have to remove the lower left plastic skirt that covers the affected area. You will first have to remove the bottom four screws on the upper back panel. You do not have to remove the entire back panel. This will allow you to remove the back strip which has three screws and the lower left skirt that has eight screws. Once the skirt is removed, you will see the lower jack shaft, the speed sensor, the sensor tape, and the pillow block bearings that hold the lower jack shaft in place. The set screws in question are on each of the pillow block bearings that hold the shaft in place. First, remove the large V-belt on the 6 inch pulley on the left side of the lower jack shaft. In order to do this you will have to loosen the V-belt guide that is designed to keep the V-belt from coming off. Once the V-belt is off, lower the blower to the floor. Now you should be able to move the lower jack shaft freely by turning the 6 inch pulley. Tap on the end of the lower jack shaft to align both sides. On the right side the chain should be in alignment with the center of the frame steel. On the left side the 6 inch pulley should be in alignment with the pulley that is attached to the blower assembly. Once in alignment you will want to rotate the shaft so that you can access the set screws on the pillow block bearings. Do not remove the set screws completely. Once they are removed, they are difficult to re-thread given the configuration of the jack shaft. Using a 3 32nd inch Allen wrench as seen in the video, back off the set screws counterclockwise two and a half turns. This will expose the threads of the set screws in order to place Loctite on the threads. Place one drop of Loctite on the threads of the set screw and then tighten back into place. Repeat this procedure all four times which e with each of the set screws. Once all four set screws have been tightened down, raise the blower unit and place the V-belt back on the 6 inch pulley making sure that it is not twisted and the other end of the V-belt is attached to the pulley on the blower assembly. Put the V-belt guide back in place and tighten so that it is about a one quarter inch away from the V-belt pulley. Also, make sure that the smaller V-belt is riding underneath the larger V-belt and will drive the generator. Now you can replace the lower left plastic skirt using the eight screws, the black plastic strip using the three screws, and the four screws for the bottom of the back panel. If you have any questions, with this procedure, please call our office at 716 692 1455.